Hey friends, it's Brian here. So I'm going to be doing a quick tool review on a multimeter and an amp loop. Uh, that's what I'm gonna call it uh, today in this video. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you find out when I make new videos. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. So let's get to it. So this is what I'm calling an amp loop. And this was $14.95 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the comments. And it is for you to measure the amp draw of a corded appliance without taking the cord apart. So it's pretty cool. And then if you watch my videos a lot, you know I had some problem with my multimeter. So I bought this E-Tech City for $25. And it is a loop style amp meter for AC circuits. And it even comes with the batteries installed. So, you know, I'm pretty impressed. So let's see how it works. It's $20, $25 you know, $40 for the set. Uh, that's cheaper than you get it in a big box store. So we're gonna use my ice machine, and there's a video about the repair on this, uh, as our test subject. And I don't think, I think the plate's on the back of it. Oh no, the plate's here. So this is rated for 5.3 amps. Let's see what it really draws. So let's just take both of these in. And this is the problem you run into with a classic you know, here's the cord. So how are you gonna measure that? Are you gonna take this apart, screw with that? No, neither of the above. So here's what you're gonna do. All right, so let's pull that out of the way. That's automation. So you unplug that, you plug this in, and now you plug this in here. And now the current for this is running through here. This is a 1X loop and this is a 10X loop and you really need both because these give you good readings. So it's showing 0.02 amps, which is kind of irritating. It should be showing zero amps right now. So if we put it through here, we can see in 1X mode, it's drawing approximately 4.25 amps. So that's what these are good for, is it gives you a fast and efficient way to read the amp draw of an appliance without having to take the appliance apart or screw with the wiring in the house. Now, if we put it over here, we should see quite a bit more. So we're over, so we see 42.3, because this is a 10X loop, it exceeded the 20 amp range. So, the 10X loop is good for small stuff. So if I wanted to measure something that was really tiny, and, and we'll do that here, because you know that's what this channel's about. So let's put this back in. Let me get something small. All right, maybe not that, that thing. So I'm gonna use a DeWalt battery charger, and I'm gonna swap the battery so that I know we're in charge mode. You know, now what's it rated for? It is rated for 1.5 amps. So 1.5 amps would be below the native resolution of the uh, amp meter. So I'm just swapping the battery out. So I'm gonna put this battery on the charger, but first I'm gonna put the amp draw over here. So if I put it in here, one and a half amps isn't gonna show up on this meter. All right, so it's drawing, it says it's actually drawing some current in standby. So our base is 0.02. So just sitting here, this charger draws 0.15 amps. So it's an energy hog. And when we put that on, it jumps up to 0.84 amps, which is below the, the accuracy of this meter. So if we put it in to 10x mode, it shows us that we're drawing 7.95 amps, which is actually 0.795 amps, because remember, we've got to divide this by 10. So we're still under an amp draw here. And if we take this back out, let's see what the 10x reading is. The 10x reading is 0.19. So yeah, it's still drawing something in 10x. Uh, and that's, that's kind of interesting. But that's that's what the 10x loop is for, is you, you can't get an accurate reading over here. I mean, it says 0.83, but the, the meter says it's good for 2 to 20, so you really need to go up to this. And the other thing that this is good for is, let's say that you are suspecting that maybe you don't have good voltage. 
for your device. Well, there is a voltage check here that is somewhat safe. And in addition to just having the squiggly lines, it tells you if you're in AC mode or not. So we're gonna do a voltage check here. Common is black. And now you could get messed up here, so you gotta be careful. So we've got 119.5 volts here at the outlet. And again, that's just this is just a great safe resource. And it comes with pro the the uh, meter comes with probes, so that's that's kind of a nice uh, resource. Sometimes the probes aren't aren't that great that come with these. Anyway, that's it. This is a really simple short video, just kind of showing off these toys that I bought for uh, working on stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and have a great time.